Hey guys, it's your boy Mike No, and we're gonna be playing in the Goblin Power Challenge. Right now we're nine and zero, and we're gonna be playing with this broken, real fast kind of like cycle deck. We're just really gonna be spamming barrels and drills, and we're gonna be trying to get their spells out of cycle. We're not playing with Goblin Giant. Goblin Giant is good, but uh, really. It comes down to kind of like the games are really long and it just comes down to who can get the most damage on the tower So I see how we get into our first game and let's see how this deck does All right So hopefully y'all can uh, take some tips and tricks from this on how to go 12 and 0 as well And this challenge this challenge is a uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty easy as well. It is challenging Due to the fact that you know, you got all these goblins that have these weird effects and do these cool little things But I think in my opinion uh, if you if you just if you're patient just like this, like saving your log, especially that's like the big thing, saving your log. If you know how to save your log and you know, like you have arrows, so arrows would be really great right here. And I'm actually going to arrows this right now. And then our goblin brawler is going to get on tower and like, yeah, he still has to answer that. And now we can just go drill and our goblin brawler actually kills that. And he has nothing for our drill. Like his daggers are low. Drill is raged up. We got invisible goblins coming on his tower, and that's gonna be a GG, baby. Like, the game's already, okay, bad spear goblins, because he's gonna be able to kill those in one shot, and he wasted a zap, so. <laughs> and also another thing, cycling your goblin cage. Learn how to cycle your, your building, um, like, because it spawns two brawlers, so that's that's something he still has to answer. So don't be afraid to, like, play your build, building early and cycle it. That's another thing that you can do to win the game. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go barrel because if he wants it like that's not he he doesn't have a good answer to it And we're just gonna go bowler as well because bowler's gonna clean up that goblin gang as well And this log is just gonna be Massive and we're and we can send a drill in and he has to answer all this stuff still And drill is tanking for that other brawler and now we have arrows and in fact, I probably didn't even want to go arrows because our bowler, but he's at 90. Oh, wow. Goblin takes the tower as well. And bowler's still alive. So that's going to be this game. And I'll see y'all when we get into our next one. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a GG, baby. Let's go. 10 and 1. I'm at 10 and 0. <laughs> All right. We're in our next game against Creeper Man. So hopefully we can uh, steamroll this guy just like we did the last opponent. We're just going to go with a drill. Again, just make sure we, we also need to start cycling our buildings. That is something that I did not do when I first started this challenge, but it's something that like I learned along the way. I picked up skills and tricks. I'm actually going to... Okay, so that was actually kind of a bad poison. So yeah, very bad poison on my part. I'm not even going to lie. Hopefully I get enough for log here. Looks like I won't. Okay, actually, I still have to go log even though, yeah. I was going to be like, I don't need to go log anymore because it was so late, but I still need to go log anyway. So that's another thing. But he overcommitted a good bit. So I actually, I'm going to go for my bad barrel on my part. I should have saved my elixir. I was not thinking. Yeah, so this is actually, <laughs> this is bad. This is real bad, guys. So yeah, I actually might have lost this game. Um, But it's not over till it's over. Okay, and he's giving me value, so actually I might be able to make a nice little comeback here because he did just kind of throw his whole kitchen sink at me. Um, and it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Not over in the slightest. If he plays something on my bowler, that actually would be nice. But I'm going to go drill. And I'm also going to go with spear goblins here. And we're going to be ready with whatever spell we can go. So he's going to he's probably going to go log or something. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, this game is not over. He played bad. He was really aggressive, and we're gonna be able to take his tower out. And in fact, this should actually be a big tie turner here, because we also have both of our goblin brawls, and we have spirit goblins kind of stunning them. So this is actually really nice here. So we're actually gonna go barrel. We have the advantage over here. We're gonna log this. If we can get that off the map, that'd be nice. If goblin brawler can just take that out, and we're actually gonna arrow that as well. And nice. So we have the damage advantage right now because we he has the lowest health tower. So we're actually kind of sitting pretty good here. Um, so we came back. That is what we like to see. The game was not over yet, baby. He overcommitted a lot thinking that I just gave up. And that was kind of his downfall. And our spirit goblins are just going to keep resetting that tower, which is nice. And we're just going to answer with a bowler here. So he actually does go down to, down the center lane. And he's going barrel for our king tower. What an interesting fella. So, uh, yeah, he's being really aggressive here, especially with his tower being at that much health. And, yeah, we're just going to arrows this. So I don't know what he's thinking, but, um, yeah, he's about to lose his tower over there. And our bowler is just, like, putting in work. 
Yeah, that's that's your tower, dude. I don't know what you're thinking, but um, I'm actually gonna gonna laugh at this guy. We're gonna go two spirit goblins on the right just in case he wants to go for a king tower. Because technically, our king tower does have lower health, but he actually he's going he's going for for everything here. We can actually go uh, what's it called drill. We don't even have the arrows, but we're gonna arrows anyway, and that's just gonna be a big fat G G baby. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I see y'all in the next game, and we are currently, what is it? We're 11 and 0, baby. Let's go. All right, baby. Hopefully, this is going to be the last game for the big 12 win, 12 and 0. If we can do it, let's see. Um, again, that poison was a little aggressive on my part. So, again, I just learned how to pay, play slow and patient. But luckily, we were able to come back, and it didn't bite us too much in the butt. So we don't have anything right here, so we have to literally go Goblin Drill. Hopefully we can re-zap that so it's off of our tower, which we did. Perfect. And that log, it looks like it's a little to the left, so I went log like that. So we did have a bad start. We didn't have our Goblin Cage, but he just went log. So we're going to instantly go in a barrel. Hopefully he doesn't have arrows, but we will see what he has. He has, okay, so he does have arrows, but he was a little late with it. So it looks like he was a little low on Elixir, or maybe he just didn't see it. He wasn't paying attention. Um, but either way, we do have the damage advantage, even with that little cycle, bad cycle start, which is okay. So we're just going to set up here with a goblin cage. And, um, once our goblin cage gets a little lower HP, we will be comfortable going in with, uh, what's it called? A drill. Hopefully he plays his thing in the back. So he's not going to. So we're actually just going to go drill because it's not going to target that goblin cage and we can poison all of it, whatever he wants to play. And that's exactly what we will do. Hopefully get those to spawn on our side, like meet us, meet at the bridge. So, but his tower is going to be engaging. So he's going to have the advantage there, but we do have our poison going. So we have to go bowler and we're going to have to go spear goblins. And yep, we're going to be ready with our log here. It looks like that's in the back. So we do miss one, which is a little unfortunate. I wasted an arrow. So if he goes in here, we actually might lose. So, might have to go barrel on defense if he goes goblin gang at the bridge. But even though that won't that won't stop anything, so I would actually have to go drill on defense. So, we're down a little bit of HP. We did play a little aggressive and bad there. We didn't have our goblin cage in cycle, and he went in. So, but we're good. We're back. We're actually going to... We're not going to poison it. We're just going to go with a bowler, actually. Because bowler's going to clean all this up. And give us counter push potential. And actually, we're going to be ready with our log here that we're just going to keep missing for some weird reason. <laughs> I don't... He keeps giving me with that barrel, dude. That's actually kind of sad on my part. It really is. And I'm kind of... I'm kind of, like, sad here. But we're actually going to get some bowler value because he's still going to go in thinking that I'm, that I'm just going to take what he's doing. So, very nice play on his part. But, yeah, we're actually going to be able to poison all of this right here. So, we're actually getting some nice fat poison value. And we're actually going to go ahead and go with arrows. And that's on tower. Nice. And, yeah, we might bowler, bowler, bowler. Let's go, baby. So, it looks like we're able to go 12-0, and 0, baby. Let's go. We're not losing to anybody today. We went 12-0. and 0. We came back, baby. We thought we were never going to come back and not win, but we did. And that's what I'm talking about. We went 12-0, and 0, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all play this deck. This deck is nice. Like, seriously, it's nice. I got over 28,000 season tokens. And yeah, y'all go give that deck a try. <laughs> Love y'all. Peace.